So house salad, Caesar salad, that can all be really boring. Fortunately, May Pike is here from Home Cuisine to teach us to make a nice, yummy salad with all these fresh ingredients on it. I think at home, all I ever do is just throw some grilled chicken on some salad and yeah. some tomatoes and cheese and call it's, it a salad. It's so easy to do that, and there's really no reason for it because they, you know it's just as easy to make a kind of a glamorous salad, which is what we have here. Um, so what we've done is uh, it's a caramelized um, acorn squash salad with some really cool stuff on top. And I was going to walk you through this dressing, which is pretty interesting. And then we can go over the salad if that's okay. All right. And that's another thing. I always just pull the dressing out of the fridge. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't make it from scratch. So. Well, it's really easy to make it if you have the time. And um, it's a lot less expensive. Okay. So, okay. Well, let's see. We'll start with some fresh ginger. Okay. Um, some fresh garlic. And again, if you have this, um, you know, dried, it's fine. I think this kind of thing makes all the difference if you use the fresh stuff. The fresh, yes. Yeah. Um, a little maple syrup. Okay. Just to make it a little sweet. Um, and this is pumpkin pie seasoning. Ooh. Yeah. Just a little bit of that. All right. Um, what else do we have? And some pomegranate juice. And that's really big right now. It's really pomegranate big right now. Pomegranate juice, the pomegranate seeds over yeah. here. Yeah. Well, it's delicious. And, um, you know, it's really good for you. Mm -hmm. So you want to whisk that. Okay. And then whisk in a little bit of, this is extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And you want to just get it until it's the consistency that you like. And this dressing is a little sweet, and it has a little bit of a kick from the um, from the ginger. Mm -hmm. So we have that. And the mm -hmm. lettuce that you have out here, it's got arugula in it? Uh-huh, it does. It's a mixed field green um, salad, but something like this, if you wanted to use just arugula, it could certainly stand up to I all this. I love arugula. I love arugula. Mm. I think arugula is one of those things that people either really like or they don't. Yeah, I really like yeah. It. Um, and that's it on the dressing. Okay. So it's really, really simple. All and right. kind of the, the hardest part is getting everything out. Okay. Um, okay, so we have the um, caramelized squash, which is just another name for squash that I put on the grill this morning. Okay. And you can use, you know, your George Foreman if, you, if it's snowing. That's a great to way to get your veggies Absolutely. in for the day as well. Absolutely. And it just, you know, it looks nice. But it's not a bad idea to, um, if you want to bake it off a little bit before you throw it on the grill, or you can do it all the way on the grill. Um, some cucumbers. hot house cucumbers and feta cheese. Feta cheese, yes, ma'am. Throw okay. it on there. All right, I love feta. Yeah, I do too. This is, this, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm loving everything you're putting on here. <laughs> this is a great salad. I think I'll like this one. Um, some toasted pecans. Okay. And um, I've done this before with candy pecans, and they're awesome. And the pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate seeds. Those are so big right now, right. and they're so pretty. Adds Aren't they all that great? color on I there. Love, them. love it. And I actually got two out, so we'll just put them on there. <laughs> put it on there. <laughs> and um, avocado. Some avocado. Yummy. Nature's butter. So that's it. And this is a really great salad. It actually, you've got your protein, got a little calcium, some fruit. I mean, there's really everything in here. It's completely balanced. And if you leave off the cheese, it's paleo. Okay, yeah. good to know. All right, well, if you'd like to know more about Home Cuisine and May Pike, she can cook for you. You can go to our website, wdrb.com. We've got this recipe on there, and you can find out how to get in touch with May. Thank you so much for Thanks joining for us today. Thanks for having me.